Israel to the whole flock of Israel, you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians. Gotta give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, the Most High, the Heavenly Father. His Hebrew name is Yahweh. Not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Most High, not Lord, not Yah, not Jah, not Ahaya, not Allah, not Abba. It's Yahweh. And His only begotten Son name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Sarabbos Christos, not Yeshaya, not Yehoshua. It's Yahweh Shah. So gotta give all praise on and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Raka Gorash. Double honors to the apostles and elder bishops and elders of Great Millstone who are well, who teach well, who are the apostles and elders of all of Israel, rather than something in high. And a sincere salutation to all the occupants of pushing this truth and believing this truth. You are the four winds of the earth, the entire world, working up the whole for the And shalom to the Akwa who are listening and learning, and you for sisters who are listening and learning. Coming at you with another lesson in true facts, faith, and edification, another daily edification, the Lord will be edified. And um, I was thinking about tying it, the way of truth being evil spoken of. In Isaiah 53 and 1, the Lord asked a question, who will, who will believe our report as Isaiah wrote? Who will believe the report of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah? And we all know the answer. Only the whole select will believe the report. And it was already designed that way. As I tell you um, in Titus 3 and 5, it said not by right, not by righteousness, but it said by through the mercy of the Lord being regenerated. That same spirit, right? As I tell you in our uh, first Corinthians 14, what's that? First Corinthians 14 and 32. The spirit of the prophets, I suck it to the prophets. Right? In Amos 3 and 7, he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So now it's at 53 and 1, it said, Who will believe the report? Well, it was already designed that the only one that will believe the words of the Lord wholeheartedly to the full extent of the truth is the whole flalette. And as it says in 2 Peter 2 and 2, the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And even when you tell them Jake the truth, they don't believe it, man. Now they don't believe it because the Lord designed this to be the downfall of two thirds of Jake, right? To, uh, for the whole elect to be reformed, to be uh, disciplined, rehabilitated, and two thirds to just be uh, institutionalized not being reformed so let me read this because it says in um second corinthians 3 let me read it let me just read it who have believed the report man only the hopeful elect and giving jake the full truth they don't accept it because the way of truth have been evil spoken of here in america man throughout the four corners of the earth because of Renaissance art, because of iconoclasm, because of the whitewashing, because of their philosophies, because of the so-called white man's religion, the truth have been evil spoken of, man. So the Lord said, who will believe our, who will believe the report of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah? Only the elect, man. In 2 Corinthians 3, In 2 Corinthians 3 and 12, it reads, Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. We use great plainness of speech. Some of the words for the word plainness, it says to be bold, to be frank, to be, um, uh, to speak boldly to speak plainly to speak frank in the opening giving you 
the whole gospel. As Paul said about he have not shunned to declare the whole gospel unto you. So the whole gospel, the full truth is being taught, is being told to Jake, but they don't believe the report. Why? Because because of the so-called white man, the truth has been evil spoken of, man. And it's right here in the scriptures, man. The scriptures say what they say. Going over the same reputation of Father Skill as Apostle Paul always say. Our Lord and Savior, our big brother, is from the tribe of Judah. If he was on earth today, they'd be classified as so-called Negro. As his father, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Right? Salvation is only for Israel. The word world in John 3.16, it's talking about the Israelites. The chain of Nazel 45 and 17. Even Yahweh Shah mentioned it in John 17. He said he prayed for, he said he prayed for them. He prayed not for the world. How can you twist that? You gotta be real, you gotta be a real slow belly. You gotta be really bold out in the mind to read John 17 and 9 when you when the Messiah said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. How can you twist that scripture? You can't. It's plain. But let me get this. Let's read this again. 2 Corinthians 3 and 12. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. Plain speech, man. It's simple. As the scripture say in John's and Psalm 17, Psalms 19 and 7, right? He made wise the simple, man. So this is Isaiah 53. And one. It reads, Who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed? It said, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Well, to tell you, Amos 3 and 7. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's not butcher him. Let's just read it. Amos 3 and 7. It reads, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right? He revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Now, the terrible thing of Jake is this truth is only for Israel. It's that his servant, the prophets. When you read Leviticus 25 and 55, the Lord say, Israel is his servants, whom he brought forth out of the land of Egypt. The Lord say, Israel is his servants. In Isaiah 54 and 17, it plainly says, plainly, that this is a heritage of servants. Right? That's why you hear Paul say, a servant of the Lord. Peter, a servant of the Lord. When you read the letters, John, a servant of the Lord. James, a servant of the Lord. Why does he keep saying servant of the Lord? Because this is a heritage of servants, man. And it said in 2 Corinthians 3 and 12, this is a plain, it's a plainness of speech, man. It's plain. But Peter said in 2 Peter 3 and 16, some of Paul's letters, it's hard to be understood. As it said, they wrestle with, as also the other scriptures. So we understand why. Even King David said, let that table become a, that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap in Psalm 69. Right? So, in Isaiah 28 and 7, it said that tables are full of vomit, man. Now we understand why. But when you read the scriptures, it's like, man, it's so plain. We know the Lord got them blind, they can't see it. But it's just heavy to think about how plain the scriptures is. Again, I got to read this again. 2 Corinthians 3 and 12, it reads. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, man. It's a plainness. And we stayed, it's the one, a couple of words was bold, frank, to be frank, which is giving you the straight skinny. 
give you the straight skinning, but Jake don't want to hear the straight skinning. They want to hear lies. They want to hear smooth things. Well, because of that, even now, without the so-called white man trying to destroy the gospel, the truth, even now, because of the truth is straight skinny, it's bold, it's straight frank, it's being evil spoken of, man. It's being evil spoken of because the truth. And as the world, and as we all know, the world don't want truth, man. Nobody want to hear if you don't repent, the Lord going to put you to death. Because Christianity has lied to the people and told them opposite of that. Come as you are. Do what you want to do. It doesn't matter. And that's an agenda that was set up so they can bring in the Transformers and the Decepticons and them that smoke weed and them that commit adultery and them that want to sleep with animals and say, oh, it don't matter what you do. Come as you are. That's been pushed for so long. So it's, so when you see bestiality being passed, transforming the Decepticons, got equal to act rights, right? Marijuana has been legalized. So you can, adultery, you can do all these things because it was already programmed into the minds of the people through Christianity, through plantation Christianity that come as you are. The feel good doctrine, the prosperity doctrine, which is none of that is in the Bible, man. None of it. You got people say, oh, the, the Lord heal everybody. The Lord heals everybody. Well, the scriptures say in John 9 and 31, the Lord don't hear the prayer of sinners. Say the same thing in Proverbs 28, right? He that forsake the law, even his prayer is an abomination to the Lord. Say the same thing in Proverbs 28 and John 9 and 31. About sinners praying to the Lord. The Lord don't hear no sinner, man. If you ain't going to repent, convert and be healed, and change your mind, and change the way you live, change the way you think. The scripture talks about the lesson the other day. Putting on a new man, and putting off the old, the old, the former conversation. If you don't change the way you think, your thought process, you ain't converted. You haven't repented. But Christianity, plantation Christianity, has told us we don't have to change nothing. Jesus loves you no matter what. And that's not in the Bible, man. But that's evil report to say, oh, no, that ain't in the Bible. I grew up in Mississippi. <laughs> All my life I heard that shacking was wrong. Shacking is a sin. Shacking is nowhere in the Bible. And if it is, find it for me. Don't worry, I'll wait. Show it to me. Oh, if you if you have sex with a woman before you get married, that's a sin. Sex is marriage. Where is it in the Bible that having sex before marriage is a sin? It ain't there because sex is marriage. But this is what Plantation Christianity told us. They done took our letters, the letters that the Lord wrote to the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians and Haitians, and flipped them, man. And Jake is bugged out, man. Because of it. Jake is bugged out because of it, man. Let me get this. Plantation Christianity, because of the so-called white man, has bugged our people out, man. With lies. Let me get this. This is 2 Corinthians. It's a lock in. <clears throat> now my Bible I won't act funny. So let me go to the blue letter. So the second Corinthians chapter six. I'm gonna start at verse three it reads. 
give no offense, give no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. That's why we speak, as it says, 2 Corinthians 3 and 12, speaking plain, man. Speaking in great, in great plain speech, man. In plainness of speech. Give no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. The devil done turned the truth upside down enough, man. Well, the Lord have set up his men to turn, to, to turn the scriptures right side up. It reads, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of power in much patience because you got to have patience in this truth i tell you that in hebrews 12 and 1 this ain't a race to the swift this is a patient race dealing with teaching people learning but some people don't learn quick as others even though the scriptures say we shall be a quick understanding in the last days it say but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience in afflictions which we are going through in necessities in distresses in stripes in imprisonments in tumults in labors in watchings which we are doing daily in fastings which we do when it's needed sometimes even when a fast ain't needed it's still good to do it by pureness, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love and fame, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. Because we're in defense mode. We're in a spiritual battle. It say by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. This is what the, hey, being covered in the arm of the Lord, man. Because we defending the gospel on the right and on the left. That's why it say, next verse, by honor and dishonor, right? To some it look good, to some it's an honor, to some it's a dishonor. It say, by evil report and good report, see? As deceivers and yet true. Why? Why as deceivers, but yet true? Because the truth has been evil spoken of, man. And that's why I say, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, man. Because this truth is evil spoken of. So we got to defend the gospel on all sides, man. We on all fronts defending this gospel because it has been evil spoken of. And kahala wahawa la yahawa ba Hashem yavashah ba Hashem rikah for the Lord giving us this truth, man. So we can stand and the Lord say, who will stand for me against the workers of iniquity, against the evildoers? The Lord called his people in Isaiah 9 hypocrites and evildoers, man. Because our people are hypocrites, evildoers, antichrists, man, because they don't believe in the report. Again, it say, who, who will believe the Lord's report, man? On the whole flu leg. Because the truth has been spoken of evil, has been evil spoken of for so long, they think that this is the way, man. Like I said in Isaiah 5, right? They made bitter sweet and sweet bitter, right? Evil good and good evil. Let's read that. <clears throat> I'm going to come back to this. In Isaiah 5 and 11 it reads Isaiah 5 and 20 Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and salaki and sweet for bitter who did this? The so called white man did it man in Isaiah we get this is Isaiah 29 that's why I say the Lord is coming to turn things right side up but before he get here it's gonna start by the word was that 2nd Thessalonians 2 and 8 right 
It said, by the spirit of the Lord's mouth shall he be consumed. And then by the brightness of Yahweh Shah's coming. But first by the words of the Lord. So this truth is turning things right side up. Well, that don't apply to the whole flelect, man. Because the world is through. The laws have been passed. Bestiality laws, right? Transforming the deceptive cunning laws have been passed. Equal to act rights. Well, they passed. So the world ain't going to be turned upside. Ain't going to be turned right side up. It's the whole flelect that's going to be turned right side up. Everything else going to stay upside down until Yahweh shall come and finish his place off, man. And it's beautiful because the ones that's getting turned right side up is going to look up and get beat up into a chariot. It's beautiful. But them that's still uh, upside down, hey, they're going to die grievous deaths. The ones that's being turned right side up is going to get beat up into a chariot. And this guy here, I'm going to call it a real accident. Slow belly, man. Evil beast. So, Isaiah 29 and 16, it reads, Surely, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So the Lord got this devil. The Lord made this devil turn everything upside down. It was the Lord, man. Surely, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he have none understanding? No, the Lord got all the understanding, man. Tell you that in Job 32. Job, what, Job 32 and 8. There's an inspiration in man and the understanding from the Almighty, man. All knowledge comes from the Lord, man. So the Lord made the so-called white man make the gospel wicked. So he can show his power in raising up men from all around the world, from different walks of life. So forget everything that they was doing in their life, the go stand the highways and hedges and preach the gospel and hold Bibles. And people to look at them like they crazy because we wearing dresses with fringes on them. This is the power of the Lord, man. That's why this is the beginning form of spiritual power for these men. These men that's being turned right side up, man. Again, being turned right side up so you can look up and see your redemption draw off now. <laughs> when them chariots started beaming up. This is what the Lord doing, using power to show the same way how the Lord raised up the so-called white man, the cave dweller, even a cave man can do it. Raise them up and put suits and ties on them. And now they control the planet. Well, the same difference is happening to the whole flelect, man. The Lord got this devil, had this devil to turn things right side up. Because it says, let's get it here. In Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. See? The Lord is coming to do this. But first, it's through the words, man. As it says, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. So let's go back to this. Second Corinthians 6. Second Corinthians 6. In verse 7, it says, by the word of truth, by the power of God, Yahweh Shah, by the arm of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true. Because the truth is being slandered, man. And the Lord is doing that to deceive two thirds of Jake, man. Because their lie is to be deceived, man. Every time they come back, their lot is to be deceived over and over, man. Well, hey, the Lord said, who shall believe our report, man? The whole for the leg. Because you got men that stand in boldness. And the scriptures say, you're going to have men that's going to stand in boldness until the end. Until the end. And if it so happened that some of these brothers or some of us get persecuted for the truth, so be it. Everybody ain't going to die, man. Everybody ain't going to die. 
the scriptures say they heard a voice telling them to come up hither in the Hebrew and they went up into a chariot, man. So everybody ain't gonna die. So, but this is an evil report to slow bellies, man, to two thirds. To slow belly evil beasts, this is a evil report. But to the hopeful elect, it's a good report, man. And again, it say, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. It say, as unknown and yet well known. See, as unknown and yet well known. It has been, the truth has been revealed, man. As dying and behold, we live as chastened and not killed. It say as sorrowful, right? Repented, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich. How? By bringing them back to the knowledge of the commonwealth of Israel, man. I tell you, Second Corinthians, what is that Second Corinthians, um, uh, eight and nine, that the Lord. He was rich and he became poor for our sakes, man. Which is what? The commonwealth of Israel. They're all Israel, man. They're all Israel. Get to come back home, man. Do your harvest shot. It's a as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. Revelation 2 and 9 say, What? I know thy poverty and tribulation. Right? But thou art rich, man. Why? Because we Israelites. Because <laughs> we Israelites. And only Israel gets salvation. Only the one third on this side. Only the elect on this side. But overall, Israel, as knowing this is the commonwealth, man. The truth. The kingdom. The glory of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. That's only for Israel. By coming through the loins, the seed line of Shem, man, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? That's how we rich. We have the royal bloodline that flows through us, man. That's why this devil wants you to take the Yabawaki, man, so he can alter your DNA, man. So he can take away your God gene, man. Okay? So he can take away the Yahweh. Gene that you have in you, man. We have a royal, we have the, not a, we have the royal bloodline in us, man. From Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. Through Shem, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Through King David and Solomon, man. We have the royal bloodline, man. And these devils is trying to alter your Yahweh gene, man. Think about that, man. Again, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possesses, and yet possessing all things. This truth is everything, man. Ain't nothing else. This is it.